The iPhone 15 Pro design renders have leaked online. This and more in today's episode. Hello and welcome to a fresh new video of Daily Fiber. I'm your host Raman Rashid and before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. Rumors are rife that the next generation iPhone models, the iPhone 15 Pro models, would come with a slimmer bezels and they could also feature a curved screen. Now, the uh, supposed CAD renders of the iPhone 15 Pro have leaked online and uh, looking at those renders, uh, they seem to suggest a similar sort of a design. So according to the render that you can see on your screens, if uh, this is what the iPhone 15 Pro could be, then expect to see similar bezels up front, slim ones, and also what looks like to be a USB Type-C port instead of the usual lightning port at the bottom. It can also be seen in the renders that the camera bump looks exactly similar to that of the iPhone 14 Pro and the dynamic island could still be retained. Now, of course, these are CAD renders, so they are not uh, sure to be the final thing. Of course, that depends on Apple. The final product depends on Apple. But uh, after seeing all of this, the iPhone 15 Pro uh, is definitely generating a lot of interest and hype. And, you know, I, sure, I like wish that uh, the USB Type-C port definitely makes its way to the final thing. In January, Google announced its plan to lay off 12,000 of its global workforce and apparently the layoff are already underway. In fact, 450 of the Indian employees from the Google Indian division have been affected. So for those who don't know, Google India currently operates in three major hubs across the country in Bangalore, Hyderabad, and a Gurugram. So uh, several people, uh, several employees have been affected. They've already taken to uh, LinkedIn and they've uh, announced their uh, abrupt departure from the company. And of course, it's a tough time at Google right now. I mean, last month, uh, the US employees were laid off and now looks like the other countries have also started following. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2 launched alongside the OnePlus 11 at a price of 11,999 rupees. But uh, many people don't know that OnePlus also launched a trimmed down version of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 dubbed the OnePlus Buds Pro 2R. Of course, the naming could have been better. But anyway, they are priced at 9,999 rupees. And uh, in terms of features, well, they lose out on the wireless charging and spatial audio feature that you get on the higher end uh, Buds Pro 2. But of course, that's why the price is lower on the Buds Pro 2R. And uh, anyone, you know, if you're if you're someone who don't care, who doesn't care about wireless charging, who doesn't care about spatial audio, do note that in terms of other specs and features, the Buds Pro 2 are exactly the same as the Buds Pro 2. And uh, if you do get the 2R version, then definitely you'll also be saving 2,000 rupees since they are 2,000 rupees cheaper than the Buds Pro 2. Also note uh, that if you are interested in getting the Buds Pro 2R, then uh, a sale on Amazon is coming very soon. Xiaomi is holding an event at uh, this year's MWC where the company is expected to launch the Xiaomi 13 series alongside the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro and the Xiaomi Buds 4. But a Twitter tipster has uh, apparently leaked the pricing of the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro and the Xiaomi Buds 4 ahead of the official launch. So according to the leaked information, the Watch S1 Pro could come in two colors, silver and black, and could cost uh, 299 euros, which is roughly 26,500 rupees, while the Xiaomi Buds 4 is expected to come in blue, green, and white colors, and they could cost uh, 50 euros, which is roughly 5,000 rupees. Now to recall, the Xiaomi Watch S1 Pro and the Xiaomi Buds 4 were initially launched in China, but of course, if you want to know more about the global debut of these devices, then stay tuned to Fiber. Did you know that you can now send high-res images uh, to your contacts on WhatsApp? And no, I'm not talking about sending a high-res photo to your contact via a document on WhatsApp. I am talking about sending a high-res photo to your contact on WhatsApp, like directly. See this. So open WhatsApp and go to settings and select storage and data. And now under media upload quality, you will see this uh, new option, best quality. Select it and that's all. And with that, you no longer have to send a WhatsApp photo, a high-res WhatsApp photo via a document. You can now send it directly by following this tip. And with that, we have reached the end of this episode. So what are your thoughts on today's video? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all next week. Thank you for watching.